Should Detroit get a bailout? Take a look at the dismal sale numbers the Big Three posted in October. All we're hearing from the Big Three is that they are bleeding cash and that they're facing imminent bankruptcy. They're losing $6 billion a month. What are they going to do with $25 billion? They haven't really made that clear. They need a plan that cuts $6 billion a month. And the most important option, in my view, is to cut short-term operating costs. And the way to do that is to tell the unions that their contracts are no longer valid. We need to start over with these union contracts. The UAW is like a cancer on the big three. They have dragged these companies down. Labor is supposed to be a variable cost. The unions have extracted demands that are just uh, Im implausible. Making the cost structure inefficient, uneconomic. The average compensation at GM for an hour of work is about $74, and at Toyota, about $47. If American taxpayers are forced to subsidize auto producers, can we at least get to pick the good ones? The big three make products that Americans don't want to buy. Taxpayers should never be on the line to bail out companies. Most emphatically, they should not be on the line to bail out companies that have made very bad decisions. GM, Chrysler, and Ford have made very bad decisions with respect to the products they've made over the past couple of decades. Those who make good decisions uh, deserve to stay on and, and produce for the future and invest for the future. If one of them goes down, the industry will be doing much better. One of the big three probably needs to go under and liquidate. Where is it written in scripture and in stone that we need to have a big three?